Greetings, Lieberlandians. Before we get into the episode, an announcement was issued today by Lieberland Secretary of State, Dr. Tariq Abbasi, which reads, The Secretary of State of the Free Republic of Lieberland announces with profound regret the death of the father of President Vit Yelichka. This sad and mournful event occurred on January 5th in Prague, when his father lost his battle against cancer. Vit Yelichka Sr. was instrumental in putting together Lieberland's first flag and flagpole, as he has been a libertarian himself. He was extremely proud and making many important contributions. He shall be missed by all, but his legacy shall remain forever, and we shall celebrate that together. As per his family's wishes, a private funeral will be held. As the Secretary of State, I express my deepest condolences to the bereaved family and pray that the Almighty God will grant them solace during this period of mourning. Dr. Tariq Abbasi. We would like to take a moment of silence in honor of the recent passing of President Yelichka's father, Vit Yelichka Sr. Thank you. Now for today's episode. Hello and welcome to episode 11 of The Lieberland Show. I'm your host, Adam J. Carswell. Today we are joined by Pavel Pospichel. Pavel is the Lieberland representative of Switzerland. Pavel, thank you for joining us today. And do you have any opening remarks for our listeners? Yeah, hello, Adam. Thank you very much for being on your show. It's great. Yes, I have an opening remark. If you love, if you love freedom, and if you have heard about Lieberland, join join uh, the movement. Uh, apply for citizenship. Join us in building the freest country in the world. That's right. That's a that's a powerful powerful statement to start it off there. So I'm looking forward to the rest of this here, Pavel. For anyone, I actually I'm going to kind of put you on the on the spot here too. But for anyone listening and you want to take action right away, I believe Pavel is your your email is uh, Switzerland at Lieberland dot org, correct? That's correct. Yeah, okay. Switzerland at Lieberland dot org. So if you want to follow up on that first thing there that that Pavel mentioned on on taking action, feel free to to email him and we'll we'll mention how you can get in touch with him again at the end of the show. But Pavel, great to have you here. I want to cut straight to it. How did you begin your journey as a Lieberlandian? Yeah, thanks for this question. It's quite funny because uh, I was always interested in Austrian economics and politics of freedom. In 2015, by sort of coincidence, I was thinking, I was fed up with the world and I was world of politics, not my world. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, there is no chance, it's not going well in this world. The politicians are taking more power everywhere. They regulate, they increase taxes, the government is omnipresent. And I was thinking with my, I was discussing over the coffee with my friend, I don't know, we should just create a country or we should create um, a space where uh, it's a truly free country. And I was thinking, and it was in April 2015, and I was mm. thinking, yeah, let's like, I don't know, ask, uh, for example, in the Kingdom of Morocco, there is this part which is Southern Sahara, mm. and maybe we could ask, we were dreaming, you know, we were yeah, drinking yeah. Of the coffee and maybe we could ask the king if they would lend the country, this region for like 100 years, like it was Hong Kong with uh, Great Britain. And we were having fun uh, over this discussion. And then really by coincidence, a couple of hours or maybe one, two days later in the Czech news that certain Vitya Lichka, a libertarian guy in Czech Republic, uh, created a new country. Mm -hmm. And I was so amazed. I was like, this is, <laughs> this is what we have <laughs> discussed. It's exactly what you were talking about. And I yeah. showed it to my friend and he was like, wow, that's crazy. I heard about Wit before because in Czech Republic, we have a free citizens party. I checked the web page, liberland.org. I recommend it to everybody to, to check this page. This is a web page where there is always latest news directly sourced from Facebook mm -hmm. of Liberland. And there is a calendar, Google calendar, that people can check what are the next events. And I saw that yeah, one can register. So almost like three days after the country was created, 
or found it, I registered and then I found somehow the telephone number of Vidya Lichka <laughs> and I called him. Uh, I found it because of the Free Citizens Party in Czech Republic. Oh, nice. It was a fantastic interview. I was a bit scared. I was like, uh, hello, I'm interested <laughs> in helping you in Liberland. And he was very straightforward. And he was like, oh, great. Please, what you can do tomorrow and after that. And he was giving me uh, ideas to join people in uh, Switzerland, in the Swiss parliament. And he was like... Uh, such a charismatic leader and right. my response was oh almost like yes sir with pleasure <laughs> and uh, so i followed what's going on and then uh, we organized the first meeting with um, the first visit of Vít Jedlička in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. It was in September. And since then, uh, September 2015, and since then uh, I've been uh, very quite frequently involved in Liberland. We yeah, have yeah, regular yeah. regular calls uh, on on Skype. Those people which are close to the government or to Thomas Walls, to the vice presidents, Vít, Milan Seman, Milan Seman that you had on the interview, or also mm -hmm. Tariq and so others. We we discuss the matters every every Tuesday evening. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's how I started. It was really like that. Three days right at the beginning. Uh, I love the idea and I contacted the president. Right. And I love that, uh, how, how coincidental you could say that was for you and your friend to just be talking about it, talking about the idea, entertaining the idea of a, of a new free minded country. And then two, three days later, your idea came to fruition and you acted on oh, it. Oh yeah. It's yeah, a really huge good. coincidence. And also, um, of course I checked what was written on the liberland.org because attempts to create countries, there were several, sometimes it was on the disputed land and so, but this land is not, it's a terra nullius. It's not disputed. Croatians say it's Serbians and Serbia says it's not ours. Mm -hmm. So it's maybe we were, we have been checking that, but maybe there is no precedence in the history that there would be non-disputed land. However, Croatians blocked the access and are still blocking the access. International law is saying you, uh, in order to create a country, you need the land, which is free. You need the population. You need the government. And so we did all of that. It was, and uh, that was the beginning. Then uh, when I checked liberland.org, I really recommend everybody to go to this page because there is the information, there is a Wikipedia link, there are, there are the news, the calendar, you can apply for the citizenship. And so when I applied for the citizenship, I applied before this web page existed. Wow. So I applied via email, but then Weed's team uh, created this registry system. Then uh, I, like, I really like the ideas. There were questions like, um, you can join us if you have no criminal records. So we do not want criminals. We, we want people that respect other, other, other people's opinions. They respect uh, other religion, uh, religions. They are not linked to extremist movement, movements like uh, Nazi or communists. And um, the motto of Liberland was live and let live. And I said to myself, I love it. That's, yeah. It's a very nice uh, initiative. Something you can really feel confident in standing by. I know it personally, <clears throat> there's really no comparison in, in regard to the ideology behind Liberland. It really makes you a lot more patriotic about your country that you choose. Power, powerful word right there is choice. Absolutely. It's also when I met with V, he's a really cool guy. Um, he is, um, he's a leader and he knows that it's, it's not about money and land, tax evasion. These things are like low taxes or no taxes are very important. Money is important. This endeavor is about idea. Yeah. Definitely. Once he was asked uh, by the Croatian judge or some policeman that Liberland is in your only in your head, uh, I loved his answer. He said, "No, Croatia is also only in your head <laughs> because any country, any country is just creation from our heads." Right. You know? Animals, birds, they cross countries. There, there is no notion of the of the borders and of different countries. So the idea of Liberland as as a country which which respects uh, absolutely freedom and 
individuals as as human being you know that's yeah. that's a powerful idea I think that that story that you just referenced out there, I've heard it a few times. Yeah. President Hitlishka's response to that question and or that statement. Once the Lieberland history books start coming into creation, that'll that's got to be one of the first things anyone at Lieberland learns about because it's such a great answer. Uh, again, for the power of ideology. Can you tell us, Pavel, a little bit more about your professional background and, and kind of where you come from? Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm I'm Czech and Swiss national. I was born in Russia. I studied in Prague, and I'm a chemist by background. So I did life sciences, mm. and I moved to Switzerland where I did uh, my PhD. Then I moved to United States, Boston, in Massachusetts, okay. where I was working, uh, doing, uh, I was a research fellow. Then I moved back to Switzerland and I work uh, in the consumer product industry uh, as a chemist and a manager. So uh, a little bit like Milan Cheman, you yes. know, he's also a chemist. So when we met in Netherland, uh, we had many common points to discuss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys are both very... Uh, that, yeah, that's the, that's the profession, right? right that's yeah. that's the way we we have to make money to make a living. But I like uh, reading books. I like philosophy. I like uh, economics. I follow politics. If you could recommend two books to the listeners, what two books would they, would those be? Well, I'm an objectivist, so I like Ayn Rand books. Mm-hmm. You know, Atlas Shrugged from Ayn Rand, or her not novel book, uh, Capitalism, The Unknown Ideal, uh, which is extremely revelating, yeah. revela- which, uh, which are extremely revelating books, because you realize that people do not want wars, governments do, you know, people do not want, people want to live free, and governments do not want that people live free because they want power. So these are extremely in- interesting books. I would Thank recommend you. that. Yeah, I'm going to check them out because I have not read them. I'm familiar with the author. But yeah, what was the name of the second book? Sorry? The name of the second book again? The Capitalism, the Unknown Ideal. Yes. And the first book, uh, the big uh, Atlas Shrugged. That's the story of the man who who has enough of this. Uh, I let it on readers to discover that. Okay. <laughs> but this, is, this is known as books that they change your life. Yes. And um, she she was also a f- she was an immigrant. She immigrated to the United States from Russia in the beginning of uh, after the First World War. She's a philosopher. So politically and economically, I agree with libertarians on the on the economic issues. You know, free market, free trade, freedom to individuals. Philosophically, this is uh, completely uh, a next level. It's very interesting. It's about um, everyone's each individual owns his life to live the life properly it's to use the reasoning use the own reason and you you need the government very minimal government and the role of the government is to protect individual rights that nobody should be hurt by anybody so it's very powerful and um, it goes with the, it goes with the with the idea of liberland yeah. Taxation, for example, voluntary taxation in a really free society, when people realize that they need protection of individual rights, they voluntarily want to pay fees to run the country in a proper way. Right. But not money for, uh, for uh, stupid projects, but just the basic <laughs> money for having, having, a, having justice, uh, having, uh, having uh, police or having the country protected against invaders. So this is ideologically, this is where I am. Hey, that's a great place to be. Thank you for sharing that information with us as well. It's always good to re-digest it and know that, you know, there's other other believers out there. And live and let live is a very great, is a great motto. I completely <laughs> agree with that. Pavel, we're, we're going to wrap up the interview here uh, soon, but I have one last question for you. And I want to know, in general, the next three to five years, where do you see Lieberland? You know, you've been there. You've been there from the very beginning. So you've seen it, seen the growth. Where do you see our country in the next three to five years? Yeah, maybe I, uh, I'll answer that a little bit backwards because from the past experience, we have been in 2015 thinking that maybe in one, two years, we will have some recognition. But I liked, uh, I liked very much one of your pre- uh, uh, previous interview. I think it was with uh, David Molino. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure, but it was about how long time it took you to United States and to founding fathers to create the country. Yeah, yeah, that was it. So we were maybe a little bit uh, not naive, but maybe a bit. We were thinking that it will be easy. That's not what counts. What counts is that slowly Liberland gets into the news. And so it doesn't matter if there is no recognition. By the way, recognition is not a condition for a country to exist. There are countries completely existing, which are not recognized by some countries like Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So that's not a necessary condition. So it's not about the paper on which it's written that we are recognized by everybody. It's about getting the interest of people in Liberland, trying to get there, to start building, building the city and the building the access roads to create the best constitution ever. And so I think in three, four, five years, we might have maybe first country recognize, recognizing Liberland. We are working on the constitution so we have several versions we have a classical one we have the new one by coincidence we just got into the era of cryptocurrencies on and icos and decentralized governments we can do uh, things in the coming months and years we can create we are already working on creating the merits system and direct um, participation of uh, citizens on electing the representatives and agreeing on the constitution, uh, setting up the scene. I don't want to say that like by this date we will have that. It's, it's a constant daily work of thousands of people on getting, getting this dream a reality. Again, maybe in three, five years we have some, we have reached some big milestones, but these are little milestones that count right every, every little help uh, right. is good yeah. yeah baby steps one step at a time and yes um i'm, I'm sure you're still kind of looking back at where everything was three years ago to where it's at now with a lot of optimism it sounds like yeah <laughs> one milestone at a time one step at a time i know we're looking forward to the ico coming soon for the Lieberland yeah. merit maybe one concrete could be that i think in Within the next three years, we probably will get access. I hope that Croatian local police, by the way, is uh, stops protecting our right. land. Right. And <laughs> uh, after that, we're good. The access. After that, it's literally smooth sailing of the Bitcoin freedom. Yes, exactly on the boat. <laughs> right. It's good I, that it's, these are international waters. This is also a great, uh, great point. Yeah. You know, little I, nowadays these ideas, once they are done, they look simple. But what was genius from Witt was that he looked in Wikipedia where he could create, where is Terra Nurius, and he, <laughs> found, he found this spot. Wow. And it's, you know, it's seven kilometers square. It's a couple of miles square. Right, so right, not right. About, it's not about big country, you know, it's not about occupying some zones. And so it's really about uh, having a free, free country where the individuals right. rights I think, I think we should be the first country to introduce hovercrafts that way you know people it'll be like star wars you know how the buildings just yes <laughs> yes why not there are great ideas yeah. you know they have architects are we had have architecture competitions there are architects with great ideas there are people scientists yeah we could do this we could do that so maybe something will be realized in three years Absolutely. Hey, anybody, right. any, anyway, uh, uh, anybody can join us, you know, if they share the same ideology. Yes. What's the best way they can get in touch with you, Papa? So um, every representative has a country at liberland.org. So I have Switzerland at liberland.org. Okay. I follow the people uh, I see as a representative of Switzerland. I see which people have registered, what is their background, how they can help, what is their proposition. So in every country, you can f contact your representative, propose some ideas, like, like you had an idea to make a show, which you do greatly, by the way. Thank you. And so anybody can join bring an idea i don't know for example uh, i can make a tv i can uh, i can contact local newspaper i can contact local politicians and talk to them about it 
So mm-hmm. that's the email. Then uh, many of our representatives they have the Facebook page, the Facebook page. So for me, it's a Swiss representative office of Liberland in Switzerland or something like that. You can find it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we'll just type in Liberland, Switzerland on uh, Facebook. I'm Liberland, sure. Switzerland. You get on the Facebook where where we where I put the pictures of the events and some news. And you can find all these contacts also at the Liberland.org page. Perfect. All right, everyone. Well, well, thank you for tuning in, Pavel. Again, thank you for joining us. It's been a real pleasure today. Same for me. Thank you very much, Adam. Everyone, this has been episode 11 of the Liberland Show with Pavel Pospichel. Pospichel? Yes. That's it, right? <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> Great. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Adam J. Carswell, and we will catch you in the next episode.